Hi class, today our topic of discussion is very important, equation of a straight line. There's so many things in straight line, you know, and whatever we study in class 10, it carries to class 11 and 12. So just pay attention to each and every term. We'll talk about inclination, we'll talk about slope or gradient of a line, we'll talk about x-intercept and y-intercept, and we'll talk about equation of a straight line in different form. Okay, so let's get started started look at what do you mean by inclination suppose in a coordinate plane we take a line suppose this is a line l and if you look carefully it makes an angle theta anti-clockwise okay anti-clockwise with the positive x-axis this is known as the inclination of the line, which means inclination is the angle which a line makes with positive x-axis taken anti-clockwise, taken anti-clockwise is known as inclination, is known as inclination of the line am I clear or not so from inclination we get a very important thing which is slope or gradient just look over here now what is slope in general terms slope represent the steepness of a line it is nothing but inclination of a line denoted it is denoted by m and m is calculated as the tangent of the angle made by the line with the positive x-axis which is your inclination so slope is equal to tan theta so it's a number which represent how steep the line is with respect to your x-axis, the positive x-axis. Am I clear? Now look carefully. So few things arise from you. If you look over here, theta in this case is acute, which means tan theta will be positive, which means my slope will be a positive number. But if I draw something like this suppose, am I clear? Suppose this is theta 1. Then in this case, theta 1 is obtuse. And if you take out the value of tan theta 1, obtuse, more than 90 but less than 180, it will be a negative quantity, which means m can be negative. So m can be positive as well as negative. Now look carefully. I'll take one more case. If I take a line parallel to the x-axis, look carefully. In this scenario, in the third scenario, I should say, if theta is zero degree, the angle between this line and the x-axis, positive side of the x-axis is zero, which means your tan theta will be tan zero, tan zero is zero only which means your slope will be zero. So a line parallel to, we can write a line parallel to x-axis has slope zero. Am I clear? Now look, if you draw a line perpendicular to x-axis then your angle the theta is 90 degree so in this scenario look away in the fourth case theta suppose I take it as theta 2 the so theta 2 is 90 degree and tan theta 2 that's 90 degree is undefined so slope can be 
undefined as well which means a line perpendicular to x axis has slope undefined am i clear now let us look few more points regarding this slope now look at this we know that slope is nothing but tan theta i have drawn a line which makes an angle theta anti clockwise with the positive x axis now take any two point a and b on that line suppose a is x1 y1 and b is x2 y2 now if i draw a perpendicular suppose a m on x axis and b n on x axis and from a i draw a line parallel to x axis intersecting b n at f and suppose this is k now look carefully this and this are parallel to each other which means this angle angle a k m will be equal to b a f no doubt in that now look your b f your b f is what b n which is y2 minus f n which is y1 so b f is nothing but y2 minus y1 similarly if you see a f is nothing but this is x2 minus x1 isn't it from here to here o now look carefully in this triangle b a f tan theta is perpendicular b f by a f b f is nothing but the difference of coordinate y coordinate which is y2 minus y1 and a f is again o n minus o m which is x2 minus x1 so slope can be written as the difference in y coordinate by the difference in x coordinate done now look at very important point suppose i draw a line which makes an angle theta with the positive x axis another line parallel to this suppose this is p this is q now p q are parallel to each other now if you look carefully this will be same these two angles will be corresponding angle so the inclination is same which means the slope will be same which means if two lines are parallel to each other their slopes are same then suppose this had slope m1 and this had slope m Two, so we can say M one equals to M two. Done. Now look at this. If two lines are perpendicular to each other, look. I have drawn a line which makes an angle theta. Okay, with the positive x-axis, and I draw a line which is perpendicular. to this line suppose this was p and this was q now look carefully this angle the angle which the line q makes with the positive x axis is 90 plus theta am i clear now look, for the line p for line p slope is tan theta done but for line q slope is tan 90 plus theta and tan 90 plus theta this was suppose m1 this was m2 tan 90 plus theta you just need to know now is minus cot theta we'll do this in class 11 okay just remember tan 90 plus theta is minus cot theta now look carefully if i multiply these two this had slope m1 this had slope m2 
which means if I multiply these two, m1 multiplied by m2 is minus cot theta multiplied by tan theta, which is equal to minus, which means the product of the slope when two lines are perpendicular to each other is minus one, which means if this m1 is two by three, suppose I'm saying it has to be positive, then m2 will be minus three by two. Over here, suppose, the parallel m1 is 2 by 3 so m2 will be also 2 by 3 very important point you need to remember each every detail you can copy it okay now let us see the most important part which was the different forms to represent a equation before we look at the different form of the equation of a line let us first see what is x intercept and y intercept Suppose a line I've drawn over here cuts the x-axis at a comma zero and y-axis at zero comma b. So x-intercept is the point where the line crosses x-axis, which in this case is a. So your x-intercept is nothing but a. It can be positive as well as negative. For example if your line is like this it cuts the x-axis on the negative side so suppose this is minus 3 comma 0 so your x-intercept will be minus 3 clear similarly y-intercept over here you see the line cuts the y-axis at 0 comma b so the point where the line crosses y axis you can say in this case it's b again it can be positive as well as negative look over here in the same diagram this your x intercept and y intercept both will be negative over here it will both will be positive am i clear now look at equation of a line now equation of a line is a linear equation in x and y we express a line with the help of variable x and y look at the first form slope intercept form I have drawn a line which makes an angle theta with the positive x axis so we know that slope m is nothing but tan theta now let us take any point p x comma y on the line drop a perpendicular suppose p m okay so this distance is y no doubt in that and from this point, suppose n, you draw a parallel line to x-axis. And suppose this is k. So n k is nothing but x. Look carefully, because p is x and y. Now we have just done these two are parallel lines. So if this is theta, this has to be theta corresponding angle. Now look carefully, p k. I'm talking about pk pk if you look is y minus this is y intercept isn't it y minus y intercept suppose i take the y intercept as c so that's y minus c am i clear or not so now in this triangle p and k tan theta is perpendicular which is y minus c by base which is x tan theta is m so m is equals to y minus c by x which means mx equals to y minus c i can say y equals to mx plus c so this is your slope intercept form to represent a line this is your slope m and this is your y intercept now let us look at the other forms to represent the equation now let us see the point slope form. We just did slope intercept form which was y equals to mx plus c. Now look over here. If I take any point p, suppose x1, y1 on this line, then we have y equals to mx plus c. And that point will satisfy this equation, which means I can put y1 equals to m x1 plus c. Now this is your first equation. This is your second. 
so 1 minus 2 if you subtract so y minus y1 equals to m x minus x m x1 c goes away so y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 so this is your point slope form to represent the equation of a line when you know a point and the slope you can use this formula now look at two point form suppose we know another point suppose k x2 y2 on this line now x2 y2 definitely will satisfy this equation so what do we have y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 so instead of y and x i can put x2 y2 so y2 minus y1 equals to m x2 minus x1 which means m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 again i'll substitute the value of m over here so what do i get y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 bracket x minus x1 so this is a two point form whenever you know two point you use this formula x1 y1 is your first point and x2 y2 is your second point done now let us see the intercept form now suppose a line a drawn makes a x intercept a and y intercept b and you take any point p x y on that line now look if this is suppose m this is n if you take any two point we can get the slope so slope of mp first i'm taking two point i'm taking that's y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 similarly if i take the slope of pn slope of pn same y2 minus y1 so 0 minus y but x2 minus x1 a minus x now the slope represent the slope of the same line so they will be equal so y minus b by x equals to minus y by a minus x cross multiply so this becomes minus xy is equal to this is y minus b a minus x which when we simplify gives a y minus x y minus a b plus b x am i clear or not this this goes away so it becomes b x plus b y equals to a b divide the entire thing by a b so you get x by a plus y by b equals to 1 so this is your intercept form where a is your x intercept and b is your y intercept thus one more thing before we start the exercise equation of a line parallel to x axis now parallel to x axis which means the slope is zero so it will be y equals to c am i clear or not similarly equation of a line perpendicular to x axis perpendicular to x axis suppose this is your a the x intercept will be x equals to a which means equation of x axis can be taken as y equals to 0 and y axis can be taken as x equals to 0 now look carefully if you look all the four representation of a straight line we can say that any linear equation in x and y represents represents straight line which mean all the four i can write as one form a x plus b y equals to c where a b c are constant and your variables are x and y remember all this before starting the sums keep it till here in this video in the next video we'll see the sums based on these till then take care